No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Your package. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Your package. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Your package. Never, never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. Your package. No, you're never Hi. So I just wanted to do a short video to vent about this because I was so frustrated and also because since the pandemic started, I've been kind of keeping like a time capsule and documenting random things that happened. So anyways, um, so early in the pandemic, when mask mandates were in place, I went places, we went to the grocery store. Once mask mandates were dropped in 2022, I started ordering everything online. It's like, I'm not going out in public among a bunch of people that are unmasked, so no. So I order my groceries. I was ordering them every two weeks for delivery and then um, money was really tight. I was cutting it down to just once a month ordering my groceries. So that's my fresh produce and everything. So I was supplementing, you know, pantry items, other things that I needed with this other website who shall remain nameless, but you probably know who it is. Let's just say it's a virtual jungle of products. Anything you need from like a toothbrush to a light bulb to mac and cheese. Anyway, you can get it there. So I relied on them for years. I've been a very loyal customer and I've ordered a lot of stuff from them. Like I said, anything that I needed, I, I could get it from them. So usually there's no problem. Once in a while, you know, something would be damaged or something would happen. And it is hard to get a hold of a real human in customer service on the chat online. But some, sometimes I would, and then they were accommodating and helpful. Um, and they'd either give a refund or placement, whatever. Well, until July 25th. So I place an order with this company like I always do and it tells you when it can be delivered. So delivery tomorrow when it's an item that I need, you know, that I'm out of, like I'm out of paper towels. I need paper towels and you tell me that it's going to be delivered tomorrow. I'm kind of counting on that. So the next day comes, I go to check the tracking and I see this message that I've never seen before. Problem occurred. So I'd never seen that one before, but anyway, I thought, okay, so it's delayed, whatever. And then um, it said undeliverable and it said um, that it was delayed and there was a problem, whatever. And if you don't get your package in a couple of days and come back for an update. So it's like, okay, what part of, I needed these things the next day now it's a couple of days and I'm supposed to wait even for an update. Well, then it turns into, no, you're just not getting it at all. It's so I, again, I try to get a hold of customer service. I finally get a real human instead because they try to get rid of you, right? They, they use that AI auto reply nightmare loop where it's either like returning replacement or no, I'm all set. Those are the only buttons. So it's like, no, I need help, but that's not an option. So anyway, somehow miraculously, I, I get a person and I tell them, you know, I need these items. So he's like, like, do you want a refund? But it's like, I, what part of, I needed these things. That's why I ordered them. I thought I was getting them the next day. Now it's been a couple of days. Like, yeah, can you not replace them? Like, I don't understand the logic here. Like somebody orders something, you know that they need it and then it's damaged in shipping. It never gets to them. And then you're like, oh, well, if you want a refund, maybe you get one eventually. Well, what about, I need those items. So he's like, okay. So he starts a replacement order. He promises me I'm going to get this stuff the next day. Next day rolls around. Well, what do you think happens? Again, problem occurred undeliverable. So now all these things that I was supposed to get, again, the same things happened again. Like what is going on? So I'd order paper towels and um, recently I've been ordering like soy and oat veg vegan milks because for a couple of reasons. One, with avian flu, it's affecting dairy cattle. Who knows? Like to me, the less natural milk you drink the better. So I started trying vegan milk and they, they weren't they weren't too bad. 
Also, because it doesn't have to be refrigerated right away, it's plant-based, you can get it from this supplier because, you know, it's a pantry item. So that's really handy when, you know, I've run out of regular milk and, you know. So I'd ordered pop, milk, juice, paper towel, like stuff that I needed. Never got it. Then they said replacement. Never got that. So then I'm trying to get through to someone and say, what is going on? Like, is something wrong in your warehouse? Are they like smashing the boxes intentionally? Are they just throwing things around? Like, why can I never get anything that I order anymore? What is going on? So I talked to one person and, and I was put through to six different people with names like, I don't know, Vishnu, Tasmania, um, Ardum, Need Help, you know, Damn You, whatever. All these people never get an answer. They put me through to someone else and someone else. And meanwhile, I'm telling my life story like, I have severe PTSD and anxiety. I don't deal well with uncertainty and chaos. I need order and control. I need, like, I have my routine and I need to be able to count on things. If I can't count on you, that's not okay. Like, I've been depending on this service for years. I'm a, I, a very loyal customer. You know that I'm always going to be buying from you because... I'm home. I'm housebound. I have to have everything delivered. So maybe that's part of it. They take me for granted. Oh yeah, she's over a barrel. She, she has no choice. She has to order from us because she doesn't even leave her damn house. Well, guess what? No. Because now you've pissed me off. Now I no longer trust you. I can't depend on you. You say you're going to deliver something the next day. You don't. Then you say you're going to replace it. You don't. Then I can't even get a straight answer from anyone. So finally, after six people, I get this guy with a regular name, like say it's Stan Smith. And Stan Smith admits to me that it's this problem with the seller. I guess it's, it's arriving to the warehouse damaged from the seller. If you know this, if there's a problem with the seller, deal with them. I don't know, like fire them, don't carry their products, put a warning, don't have the product as in stock. You're supposed to under promise and over deliver not over promise and not deliver <laughs> like don't let a customer think they're getting something the next day and then they just never get it at all and no apology no explanation no amends like nothing and so i'm passed off to all these people and then he had the nerve to say well if you no longer want to use this service i can't blame you what like you're not even trying to keep my business you're daring me to leave like you don't value my business, obviously. I put thousands of dollars into this company because I order everything on earth that I need from you guys, but you don't give a damn about me. So, you know, if you want to alienate me, you want me gone, then fine. I won't order from you anymore. I'll make other arrangements. So anyway, adapt, pivot. You had to do a lot of that during the pandemic. But anyways, so... I figure, okay, I'll order from another company that carries some of these same products. So I place an order. Well, guess what? Then I, I see a message from them on the tracking that it's damaged in shipping that I'm not getting that either. And what's so infuriating is not only do you not get your products, not only do they not replace them automatically, they charge your credit card immediately when you place the order and they ship it that you've been charged. You're out the money. And yet, they'll say, oh, well, we'll process your refund when we get the damaged products back. Which I never got, by the way. Never got to me. It was damaged in the warehouse. But you still have to wait a few days for your refund. In fact, last time I checked this one website, they said, um, if you have not gotten your refund within 14 days, like two weeks, seriously? So you, took, you take my money immediately but I'm supposed to wait two weeks for you to pay me back. Like I, I'm just, I'm so livid right now because it's like they don't give a damn about customer service. And I Googled, you know, problem occurred and undeliverable and all these messages that I'm getting. And it's apparently very common because like there are whole Reddit conversations about it from years ago. So this has been happening a long time. I guess I've just been lucky. It's a miracle that I got all my packages all these years because apparently this problem occurred has been occurring for a long time. But it just, it makes me so angry that they don't value your business. They really don't give a damn what happens to you. And it, like to me, okay, I'm trying to think if I had a company, if someone orders something from me, I've made a promise to them. I'm going to give, give them these products. So 
it's the onus is on me to fulfill that. So why is it then the customer has to chase after you? What are they supposed to, oh, we got, wait weeks for your refund or yeah, maybe we'll send a replacement, but then it never get it never comes. And then they're, they're like, well, you're free to order again. Well, why would I when I can't even trust that it's ever going to make it here and you take my money and I might, might not get it back. Like, I'm so angry. And then this other company, which I ordered from, I was already mad at the one company. So I'm like, fine, I'm boycotting them. Go to these other guys and they're just as bad. I'm like, what is going on? Like, is this just me? Is something going on? I mean, at least be honest. Like have a note on your website. We're experiencing technical difficulties. You know, was it the IT outage that happened? Was it that cloud strike nightmare? Like logistics are all messed up. Was it, I don't know, are Russian spies invading your warehouses and smashing everything? Because apparently they've been like getting into people's water supplies and trying to wreck the power grid in Texas. I don't know what all. Sabotage things. Like this feels like sabotage because like you start cutting off the supply chains. Oh, well, you can't get anything. Sorry. I, I don't know. But it feels like something's going on because for two different companies to have the same thing happen, damaged in shipping, you just never get it. Like I just, I'm, I'm just infuriated. Anyway, I just had to vent about this because I'm so frustrated and I don't want to go in person in stores because everyone's unmasked and no one gives a damn and they're breathing a level three biohazard. Like I, stay home and stay safe and I rely on having things delivered and now if I can't even trust that things are going to be delivered like it's just such an insane system to me like you promise that things will be delivered the next day and then days go by and you're still waiting for an update which you never get by the way that's all just to put you off because they know you're just never getting it and they, they should automatically replace it. Like, we're very sorry this happened. Here, we're going to send everything off again. But no, they don't do that. They tell you they'll refund you eventually. And meanwhile, if you want, you can order those items again. Probably won't get them, but we'll take more of your money. It's like they're taking and taking your money. They take a long time giving it back. This seems like a scam to me. Anyways, I just wanted to vent about this because I'm so frustrated and annoyed and I just I didn't know maybe this is happening to other people or maybe it's just me maybe they you know don't want to deliver stuff to me anymore they don't want my business I don't know like does customer retention not mean anything customer loyalty like do you not want to keep customers that are reliable and that are constantly ordering from you why would you want to alienate and antagonize them I don't get it like I, I, I just don't get it but anyways um, I mean there's a lot going on right now if, if it's climate if it's the climate emergency, like say that, say, you know, we're sorry, there was a flood in the warehouse, there was a fire or, you know, supply chains and something went wrong or so the camera just ran, the SD card just ran out or something. Anyway, I got to wrap this up, but I, I'm just frustrated. I mean, I know there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, but be honest about that. You know, if it's a fire or a flood or a problem with a seller or a supplier, whatever, be transparent, be honest, warn the customer and don't show products available for sale that you know damn well they're not, they're never going to get. If you know there's a problem and, and things are damaged, like don't punish the customer, you know, they're, they're your bread and butter. They're the ones keeping you in business. So you should treat them better. Like don't treat them like garbage. You know, if you're going to take their money instantly, you should refund them instantly or send them the things that you promised. Replace it. They shouldn't have to, and they shouldn't have to fight to even get a human being to complain. Oh, and th get this. So finally, the sixth guy that I talked to, he gave me an email that I could email the company to complain. And when I emailed it, I got a message from the company saying, this is not an email that accepts incoming emails. Well, apparently you got it, but that's the email he gave me. And then it says, go to customer service on the website, because of course that's so helpful, because that's just going to send you to the auto AI loop where it's just um, starting returning replacement or no, I'm all set. And those are the only two choices and you don't even get to talk to anyone. But anyways, um, I, I just had to vent about this because I'm livid and this has been triggering my anxiety. But anyways, I'm not ordering from them again as long as I can hold out. And um, yeah, I just wanted to vent about this in case anyone else is going through this. Um, I feel your pain. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Package, no, you're never gonna get it.
never, never gonna get it. Your package, no, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Your package, never, never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. Your package.